Otter, the cargo is going to crash if you don't hurry to clear everything out of the way. That is ridiculous. That would mean that it would have to have cargo that no driver could possibly steer, a motorized constant motion machine, and so much sensitivity they can't even be dragged to a stop. Not only something as small as a pothole would destroy this thing. Alright, I suppose it won't be the end of the world if it crashes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, after all, it's only the kittens inside will suffer. I'll call you back. So let's discover a game with an even more ridiculous premise than my intro. You are the Blast Corps, a team of demolition experts extraordinaire. The government has called you in to take care of a little snafu that they've gotten themselves into. A carrier containing enough nukes to destroy the world has gone out of control and will continue unstoppably to its carrying location, regardless of what stands in its way. If it so much as grazes a building or must roll across the railroad track unassisted, it will trigger the explosion to end the world! So, you know, no pressure. Let's do this. This vehicle is driving up hills, over dirt roads. Anyone who has ever even visited the country knows that potholes would cause an instant explosion. To try to claim that it is exploding because of the force of a crash is ridiculous. Judging by the size of the buildings, the amount of ground being covered by the carrier can't possibly be traveling more than 30 miles an hour. I mean, I'm not a scientist and I didn't do pixel measurements, but it moves so slowly. Just how volatile is this cargo? Oh, I'm gonna need some help. In response to this threat, Blast Corps has the most insane arsenal of demolition equipment that you will ever see. second most insane. Oh sure, there's the usual bulldozer and dump truck, but then when you look at how the dump truck is used, who ever considered this to be a decent method of destroying buildings? The complete impossibility to control this veering monstrosity completely ignored? But then you get into the more ridiculous vehicles. The Sideswipe, a weird device that shoots out a flat surface on each side of it. Interesting concept, but the incredibly volatile carrier is more feasible than that powerful of a pneumatic system. Or how about the Skyfall? No, no. That would be kind of awesome. This Skyfall. As long as it stays on the ground, it's useless. Let it hit a slight bump in the ground that gives it even the slightest hang time though, knocks even just a wheel into the air, everything beneath it shall be utterly crushed. There's even a motorcycle that is absolutely impossible to steer. It can destroy buildings by shooting rockets that come from the magical land without recoil. Or perhaps you're here for the most epic vehicles of mass destruction, cars! Sport muscle cars! And then the best of all, giant robots. There's the Thunder Fist that destroys buildings by rolling over them. The J-Bomber lets you fly gracefully up into the sky before pile driving down onto each building in an absolute orgy of crushed metal. There's also a Cyclone Suit somewhere in the game, but I never found it. It does exactly what the Thunder Fist does, except it does flips. Now I can hear you crying out, my Holt. Where can I get this? An over-the-top, ridiculous game about destroying buildings with weird and chaotic weaponry and wonderful self-indulgence? I need this in my life. Not so fast. 
This game is plagued with control issues that almost render it unplayable. You can simply forget about ever hitting anything with the dump truck. The sideswipe has to be perfectly placed to actually deal significant damage. The ballista is too finicky to actually aim at anything accurately unless you're right in front of it, and all of the turning controls are based off the position of your vehicle. So if you want to move left but you're pointed to the side of the screen, is left going to be achieved by pointing in the control stick up or to the left? Well, most of the time to the left, I think? I couldn't actually figure out what would guide me where for the entire time I was playing the game. Don't run into it! This game demands perfect motions. You don't have time to make more than one mistake, and these are the lowest difficulty missions. I was able to make it through, but barely. And upon reaching the medium difficulty missions, there isn't even room for that one mistake. So you dropped into a level you've never seen before. You have no idea what you need to destroy, what the travel path is for the carrier, and what type of vehicle you're going to be using. This level of precision play might be possible if you only had one playstyle to master. But every mission uses a different vehicle. And every vehicle handles differently, destroys things differently, and goes about completing their levels differently. To demand perfection and mastery of such a range of differing controls over such a short period of time would be analogous to trying to learn five different languages in a month, changing which language you're allowed to learn and practice each day. So if today you're allowed to learn and practice the bulldozer of Spanish, but tomorrow you'll be in trouble if you put any focus on Spanish and instead you must dedicate your life to the sideswipe of French. The day after that, all focus must be on the dump truck of Mandarin Chinese, and by the end of the week you'll have a handful of words you can remember from each, no real progress, and an Olympic swimming pool full of your frustrated tears. The most frustrating vehicle is the coolest, too. Thunderfist's roll only goes off if he's walking fast enough, and is far enough away from the mirror structure, and is traveling in a straight line, and he has to feel like it, and as long as someone on the planet Earth isn't saying something stupid at that moment. So what I'm trying to say here is that his ability does not work. I looked up guide after guide on how to use this guy, and even then his ability would go off when he felt like it, which is to say... Not at all. You can put him in the exact same situation multiple times in a row, and it will not go off consistently. Which you will have plenty of opportunity to place him in those kind of situations because of the demanded perfection that means a failed roll equals a restart. I must admit though, the J-Bomber is every bit as cool as it sounds. Sometimes you'll end up with a weird bit of structure left implausibly standing, but if you just pay attention to his shadow, you'll do fine. So in the end, I couldn't play much of Blast Core. The amount of precision and expertise needed was just too frustrating to work my way to that level through when you combined it with the loose and imprecise controls. While I am very glad that I discovered it, I honestly wouldn't recommend that any of my viewers also discover it. If you really want to see it, just pull up a speedrun on YouTube and enjoy the industrial carnage. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it around as long as you liked it, and if you didn't, why not post a comment and tell me what I could do better? I'm also kind of curious if anybody has managed to guess the upcoming game based off of the card so far. I meant it to be pretty vague, but you never know, maybe somebody knows exactly what I'm getting at with them. So I'll leave you all with those questions until next week, and until then, remember, life is always another game waiting to be discovered. Oh! Whoa! Okay! What is that? Let's do this! Sorry, I, I said something when you were starting to die. <laughs>
It's I, okay. I, I was more just confused as to what the heck that is. Let's do this. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I love it.